Hey, how's everybody doing today? Um, found something interesting I want to show you guys. This thing. FM radio kit from Alenco. I don't know if you can see that. Snap circuits. Um, FM radio. Whoops. FM radio. Three other projects. And what it is, is you build a radio kit. That's really all it is. Um, all the different pieces you put them together. Back show show what's on there. <laughs> yeah, the camera's angled really weird and I'm positioned in such a way. Because I don't have any freaking room to room to work. But yeah. Um, so you can see all the pieces along in here. And right here. Hey Ashens, that's your whoop. God damn it. Ashens, that's your calling card. Zero to three sad onions. Yeah, he's a, Ashen's a good guy. Um, he's kind of the reason why I wanted to do this one. You know, you just find some interesting stuff, show you off, and I want to kind of do the same thing. So let's see what we got inside here. Bag of stuff. Tray. I'm guessing that's where everything goes. And the uh, manual. Uh, yep. FM radio model SCP-12. Yeah, it tells you how to do the uh, progress. Oh, some other stuff on the back that they make. Uh, wow. They actually have one right here for 100, 100 projects? I might have checked that out sometime. Green circuits. Okay. Uh, sound. That one looks interesting. And snap circuit lights. Yeah, those all look pretty pretty interesting. I'm trying to track those down at some point. Get those. And they got the parts list over here. And over here, just basically warning about batteries. Um, you know, don't use old batteries with new batteries. Don't use rechargeables with non-rechargeables. Alright, so let's get this thing started. Got a tray. Project 1. Snap circuits uses electronic blocks that snap onto a clear plastic base grid to build different circuits. These blocks have different colors and numbers on them so that you can easily identify them. Build the circuit shown by placing all the parts with a black one next to them on the clear plastic base grid first, then the solo parts marked with a two, then parts marked with a three. Okay. I see how they do it. Um so the basically one is your first layer, two is your second layer, three is your third layer. All right, that makes sense. Okay, so you basically kind of stack pieces on top of each other. All right, so simple enough. Uh, where were we? Okay, note that there is a three snap wire between the FM module and the speaker, partially hidden. It's all three double batteries and included into the battery holder. All right, so uh, let's build this thing. Ooh, excuse me. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. So, they call them snap circuits. And that's literally what they are. They're just little... They're just little snaps. You know, just like just like what you have on your um, pants or jacket. Yeah. And they just snap like that. Pretty cool. Awesome. Put that down. Let's get that into shot. Okay, so let's just do uh, the thing. Alright, so let's do that. Get that battery holder. That can that goes there. Okay, how do I how do I get this on? It ah, there we go. Oh. Probably about as far as gonna go. Uh, yeah. Probably would have been nice if they used a uh, thicker plastic. Uh, Cause this, yeah, that's a kid could probably break this. Yeah, kid could probably break this easily. And as you can, I don't know if you can see right there, right in there. It's already starting to snap or crack. 
in this case. Uh, but whatever, let's go in here. Alright. U4 Equifier, which is this thing here. U4 Amplifier IC. I'm guessing IC stands for Integrated Circuit. I know nothing about uh, engineering or electronics or anything like that. So if I get the wrong terms, feel free to correct me, alright? Okay, that goes... No, one, two, three, four. Okay. And then, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so this is part of the receiver, transmitter. And now that icon there, that is the icon for um, aerial or antenna. Two different names depending on where you live, but they don't, but they both do, they both mean the same thing. And this is probably just the antenna itself, just a piece of wire. Um, yeah, you, depending on radios, you don't need a whole lot to you don't need a whole lot of material to act as a um, antenna. Like on my cell phone, I can pick up FM radio, but I need the headphones plugged in because the headphones act as the antenna. Right, so I'll put that on. Oh. Yep, there we go. Alright. Let's see, and then speaker. That's the speaker. Yeah, I'm really sorry because I'm, I'm working at a really weird angle here. Just because I, I haven't got much room to work. Uh, but yeah, this is the speaker. And that goes right there. Stay on. There we go. Alright, put that down. Get that back in the shot. Alright. Okay, I think that's all for the first layer. Yep. So second layer is going to be a couple of these things. This one's labeled 2. It has two connectors on it. Uh, again, really sorry about the bad camera work. But yeah, that's the 2 there. All right, so Oops, hang on. I forgot something. This has to go down. This has to go on here first. Okay. This goes here. Put that on. Okay. And then... And I did say there was a 3-snap hidden between the FM module and the speaker. Okay, but that's a uh, that's another layer. So okay, so first layer. If I'm reading the thing right, it's that's all set. Now layer two. Hang on. Did I screw up somewhere? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Two, three, four. No, no, I think I got it right. All right. So, so we'll do the next layer. This goes here. Snaps on like that. Perfect. This goes here. Let's go over here. Perfect. Oh, the slide switch. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't go on yet. Okay. So we'll skip that. Alright. <coughs> so, layer two. Have that. This piece. Right. Two. All right. So this goes here. And the 
to goes here. Another connection to the speaker. And the same. That pieces go kind of in here. Um, I really don't know why, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's just like in the Lego movie, follow the directions. Alright, so we got there. And you got there. Oh, okay. Nope, nope, nope. I'm totally reading this wrong. It's it's actually pointing to where that's supposed to go, not laid up yet. Because right along in here, so you got the little piece like that. That actually goes under there. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Alright, so pop that there. This goes here. That goes there. Yeah, that was, that. Okay, this make that makes sense now. Okay. Yeah, because I didn't notice the black lines along in here. So, like the single snaps, you would it, it, without noticing it, they would go, you know, between there. But there's no place to secure them. But you know, that's just me not reading the directions right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. Then, so you got a little slide switch here. This goes up and down like that. And RV, resistance and variable. I'm assuming that's what it means. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. We'll just put this down here. It snaps right on. And. S1, which is a switch, so off and on, pretty straightforward, that goes there, and the last piece, there, done. So the radio itself is built, and pop the batteries in. So. Simple. They just pop in like that. Okay. Turn the slide switch. Turn on the slide switch S1 and press the R button on the FM module. All right. Slide switch. All right. So this is the volume. Um, and if there's, a, if, there's, if there's a part in the video that gets muted, that's because of me, uh, just because I don't want the copyright strike on my channel. You know, it's, it's kind of stupid, but you know, that's what I gotta do, just to keep my channel up. Alright, just hope you guys understand. It says here, press the T button, and then FM module scans. So let's shut that off. Alright, so the audio quality is kind of bad. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Um, you know, really staticky. Um, don't know if that has to do with the antenna itself. I don't know if I don't know if that has to do with any of the parts on here. <clears throat> but anyway, so that's project one. You know, build a build a radio kit. No. There's also three other projects on this thing. So we, let's move on to project number two. It says here, power amplifier. Modify the circuit shown by removing the two snap wire and the single snap that are connected to the FN module. All right, so take 
get that out. And take that out. Put them back on. Put this side. Position the adjustable resistor at the top and turn on the slide switch. Okay. Okay, I don't hear anything. Position the adjustable resistor at the top and turn the slide switch on. You should be able to touch point A with your finger. Where's point, uh, point A? Where is point? Oh, okay. Point A. Not hearing anything. Listen closely to the speaker or what your finger if you don't hear or what your finger if you don't hear any sound. Okay, I can barely hear static. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. But there's a sl very slight amount of static coming off the speaker. And so it also says wet your finger if you don't hear any sound, okay. Nope. Still in here, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if my rings are interfering. Or my watch. Let me take these things off. No. Still barely getting anything off of here. Nope. It's just a really faint um, static coming off the speaker. High frequency clicks, static, or even AM radio station should be coming from speaker, indicating that the amplifier is powered on and ready to amplify signals. Power amplifier may oscillate on its own. Do not worry. This is normal with high gain, high powered amplifiers. Does this pick up anything? No. So, as far as Project 2 power amplifier goes, I think they might have had the right idea, but it just doesn't work the way it should. Or at least, to me, it doesn't sound like it does. Alright then. So, Project 3, Electronic Kazoo. Electronic Kazoo. Okay. Let's see how this thing works. <clears throat> Use the circuit from Project 2. Okay, already have that. Use the circuit from Project 2. When you place one finger on point A, which is here, and one finger on point B, which is here. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's actually pretty interesting. Electronic kazoo. Let me see if the uh, switch does anything here. That's actually pretty cool. All right. Let's see. Now, project four. Use circuit from project three. Turn on the slide switch. It's on. Place one finger on point C uh, here, Oops. so you can see it. The trunk, and place hand up, uh, place a finger from the other hand on point B. It's the exact same thing. Hang on. So all the okay. So for project three and four. 
Okay, here's the contact points for three. And then for four, all they do, all they have you do is put your other finger here, and so you can work that. Let me see if this doesn't need it. So yeah, so basically three and four are the exact same thing. It's just they give you, you know, two different contact points, but they do the exact same thing. Hmm. Don't know why they do that, but you know, that's what it says. So do one more. All right, <clears throat> all right, I'm, all right I'm getting annoyed by that thing now, so I'm gonna shut that off. But yeah, so FM radio, model SCP-12, interesting little toy, hopefully, hopefully it's meant to teach kids about uh, how radios work, um, although now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't really explain why, um, it doesn't explain why the different projects work the way they do. Um, and now they think of it, something I would like to see in a revision, throw in a pamphlet or something about the pioneers of radio, you know, like Marconi, uh, Tesla, uh, <clears throat> and I'm drawing a mind blank here. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, yeah, so the the project kit, I mean, it's an interesting kit. It's just, it only tells you how, how to build the thing, but it doesn't really explain the workings of it. So, if it's meant to be an educational toy, it doesn't really teach you anything. I mean, except for like the two contact points of um, kazoo and trombone. Alright, so that's it for this video, guys. Take care and have a good day.